could be. Um, Matt, I was wondering, do you still uh, watch Dream Theater's Gian Petrucci's uh, Rock Discipline DVD? Um, I don't. I don't watch it. Like I've probably seen the whole. Th I've seen the thing from start to finish once, and I've watched clips here and there over the years. But I haven't seen a clip from it for probably three years. But the thing is, I do bring the book with me, so I've got the little book thing with me, and I've got a lot of them committed to memory. So it's just it's something that I use for warm ups, and it's perfect. And can you be a, a bit more precise? How do you? Can you can you explain one technique maybe that that you do from the fr from the book? Uh, just about all of them. It takes me probably about 15 or 20 minutes to go through all of them. I sit there with a the metronome and a practice amp, and I'll just play through them until I feel ready for the show. And what what do you do? Warming up the same book or? No, I just kind of <clears throat> I don't really have like a set warm up. I just play for a while, just noodle around, play some riffs, have a few exercises that if I'm really not that warmed up previously. I'll run through <clears throat> that help me out, but I'll just sit there and play for a while until I feel like you know, I'm ready to go. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, let me see, why, why, why did you use seven string guitars on this album? Is there someone brought a guitar with him and then he said, well, hey, let's use this? Or? Um, just for the hell of it. Um, you know, what is di different then, if you, for it's, people that don't know? Was it four extra notes? Something like that. Four extra notes, that's it. Four extra notes that go slightly lower. Um, it just works sonically. I mean, we don't just ride the low string. We don't just play zero, one on the low string. It's, and it's only on, I think it's on four, four songs on the Crusade. Next album must be more. Uh, it's just something we wanted to try. We've got Ember that's in E standard, two songs drop D, Ascendancy's in drop D, six string. Crusade, some E standard, some B standard. It was just spur of the moment. The way we do things is just, Whatever seems right at the time. And who who brought the guitar? Did you or did you? Or? He was the one that writes on seven strings. So I don't really use it unless we're playing the songs that are seven strings. But was it hard for you to do? Or was it? No, I just prefer six strings, and you know, I can play seven strings. It's not that hard if you know how to play six strings. It's just one string, so it's not a big deal. But I just prefer playing six strings more. And then, well, the new album are there? Already some songs written? Or it's just We've got about 20 or so songs written already. We've got half of them demoed. We're going to demo the other half when we're done with the Black Crusade and start tracking in either March or April. And can you tell what, what, what the sound will be or what the um, lyrical it's content? The, there's a lot that we want to keep it you know, under wraps until it just kind of comes out. All I know is that I guess so far, which things could change, it just sounds like the perfect mix of everything that we do that we do right, that sounds like us. So whatever we think and that our fans think sounds like, sounds like the best ingredients of Trivium, they're there. And then obviously the next step, like, so it's not, it's too hard to describe until it comes out. Okay, and then lyrical rise, is it already some songs written? Lyrical? Yeah, yeah, they're all written, I just can't give any clues. No? Nope. <laughs> okay. Nope, they're there, we got titles and everything, but. Okay, so, um, and, well, is it for you, you still have, uh, well, you still see chance to evolve in this music genre? Because sometimes, well, you, if you've written five, six, seven albums in one genre, then you think, well, hey, where do I want to go? Is it for you? We, we don't think of it as a genre. We just think of it as writing music. You know, we, we don't think, hey, we need to write this metal album. Are we running out of ideas? It's like, no, we're just writing music. We're just making Trivium stuff. <laughs> Simple as that. Okay. But no, we're never worried about that. Okay. And, um, did the songwriting change through the years? I mean, you, you, you write most of it, is it? Uh, it's, it's like the Queen approach. Queen, uh, you know, each dude will write a, a majority of the riffs of a song, and then we'll, when we all get together with the four of us and piece it together, that's when the song really gets its trivium sound. You know, somebody will come up with most of the stuff, like Cora will come up with most of the riffs, and be like, all right, here's what I've got. Okay, we learn it together. And sometimes the arrangement changes, sometimes there's absolutely nothing changes, but all we know is that once the four of us play it, it becomes one of ours. For you, um, do you write? How how do you write? Do you write uh, well when you when you are in a certain mood or just? No, it's uh, usually it's the easiest to write <clears throat> when you're in a, like at home, kind of like a comfort zone. Um, so most of the time, I'm not even like I don't sit down specifically like oh I'm gonna write a song or try to work on a song. I'll just be sitting there watching TV playing guitar, watching TV, just not even really think about playing the guitar. I'm just kind of, you know, just, just playing. And then eventually, like, I'll just be, something will pop out. And you hear a riff, and you're like, oh, that sounds cool. And then you got something to build off of. But usually it's just kind of like spur of the moment. Just You're just messing around, and something starts sounding cool. 
but uh, not really too often I sit down and pick up the guitar with the purpose of strictly writing a song. It's just playing, having fun, and then usually out of that, something cool worth using kind of rears its head, and you're like, oh, cool. So, and do you have already some, uh, well, vocal lines or...? When you I don't do any vocal lines. No, it could be. <laughs> maybe, maybe you have an idea or... No, say, usually well, to, no, no, to no, no that well. stuff. Like when, like if Matt's recording vocal parts or whatever, like all of us will, will be there listening to it. He'll have like, you know, he'll write a bunch of ideas for vocal parts. And, and if he's stuck on something, the rest of us kind of throw ideas out there to help out and stuff. But, uh, you know, I don't write a bunch of riffs and then try to come up with vocal parts when there's no words or anything. <laughs>